Okay guys, in today's video, we're gonna do a fast introduction to Tari. Tari is a replacement or a competitor to Electron. So if you use Tari, you can build native apps while still making use of your favorite web frameworks. So React, Vue, Angular, etc. cetera. Um, standard NPM packages without having to do anything weird or custom in order to integrate with the native side. Um, but unlike Electron, it doesn't use Node for its backend. It uses um, Rust. So um, there is opportunity to build your own custom code in Rust and access the full speed of the underlying hardware. So before we get started, this video is brought to you by me. This is my book that I published about a year and a half ago. It's doing pretty well. Uh, full Stack React TypeScript and Node. Basically, it's a one-stop shop sort of a book where you can literally get all the major topics that you need to build an end-to-end -end complete web application. So this includes not only all the stuff in the title, but uh, React Router, Redux, Unit Testing, CSS Grid, GraphQL, Deployment to AWS and Nginx, the Express Server Framework, all that good stuff. So use 20 fulls for 20% uh, off and check out the book. Thanks. So uh, let's start with the client side. And before I do that, I just want to make clear that this is a full-on standard, you know, NPM package uh, project. It even uses Yarn. You can see the node modules are, are all here. They've not been modified. They're just your standard whatever, you know, NPM packages you would typically use for React. Um, here is my dchat application i'm in the middle of converting my app um, to tari uh, partially because i want to get rid of i want to have less centralization meaning i want to get rid of my backend node server but also if there's any performance um, opportunities to just make the app run faster i want to hook into those um, and yeah so let's do it. So here we have a simple button and you can see this call right here. So what's happening here is this pure JavaScript is calling into native code. Again, a Rust based plugin. And this that you see here, the string is sort of like a URL. So basically I'm saying invoke a plugin called test plugin and invoke the initialize function inside of it. And then I'm passing this parameter. So super simple, very, uh, you know, streamlined interface, right? So then what is this test plugin? So if you look at this, granted, I'm not really doing much of anything inside of it, but in terms of kind of the use, usual boilerplate that you might see, it's, it's super thin, it's like razor thin. So here, I'm just saying, hey, I'm gonna use Tori. So I'm telling the, the compiler, the Rust compiler, I'm gonna use Tori. I'm trying to build um, a plugin. And uh, in order to build the plugin, I need a runtime. So down here, I have the init function, which as the name implies, initializes this plugin. Um, again, I need a runtime to do that. And then I'm returning the Tori plugin that I built and the builder is building an instance of the plugin and it's handling the call to invoke on the JavaScript side. So it's handling that call by triggering the initialize and internally passing the parameter, right? So here, um, we have the actual uh, Tori runtime itself, the main process, right? So we have the context holding all the state info, 
um, sort of like the session of Tori itself. And then we have right here our initialization of the test plugin, right? So e really a lot of uh, a, a significant portion of this code is actually because of Rust, right? Like the boilerplate that's needed uh, to deal with modules and stuff like that. So it, it's amazingly trim. It's incredibly thin. So I was already messing with this. So I'm going to kill it. And I'm going to fire it up again. And then let's bring it over to you guys. So again, this is DChat. It's not complete, but I figured I would use this as a test bed. So I just found an empty space. The button's right here. Um, in a plugin, right? So if I call it, there you see the number 10. It recompiles. By the way, the hot reloader here is fantastic. Whether you're writing the native code changes or or um, the JavaScript side, it, it takes care of everything. So if I change this, blah, blah, blah. It will recompile it automatically. So I bring it back in here. And as you can see, it's there. So I know this is a super quick video. You know, obviously you can't learn Tari from this video, but I was trying to kind of half show you what it's like, but also try to convince you that you need to check it out. Um, I think it's awesome. I'm going to be using it for DChat. And uh, check it out and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks.